it's hot. Today is the very last day that I am going to be without a vehicle. I don't know how long it's been, but it feels like it's been forever. I've just been sitting at home, no way to drive anywhere, in the middle of the country, running around, I'm not close to anything. I've been going a little bit crazy. But all that ends tomorrow. Today's the day. It's done. It's new car done. And what do you guys think I'm gonna get? Spoiler alert. It has four wheels. Okay. So I'll clean and ready to go, just like yours is, so it'll be pretty simple. And I will be back in just a few minutes. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, y'all. I have my new car! And now I've got to drive it over an hour back home, so... Me and little beastie here are gonna get nicely acquainted real quick. Who guessed I was gonna get the city? Show of hands. So excited. Look at me driving now in my own car. Amazing. And there's a twin car right in front of me. What are the odds? Y'all are gonna have to get used to this. New angle, it's a little crooked. Um, whatever. This is my new whip now. This is where all the videos will be coming from. I'm about to go celebrate purchasing a new car by um, Obviously, buying some new boots to match. I've been waiting like five days to film a van tour for y'all and it's freaking raining every day this is so unusual for texas i don't know what's going on y'all might just have to get an interior van tour for now i just i just filled up my gas tank for 33 dollars oh my gosh i cannot I can't, like, that is unfathomable to me. First of all, I was riding around the West Coast where gas was literally over $5 a gallon. Shout out to Texas gas prices being like three something. It's 315 here. And I don't get like seven miles to the gallon anymore. I... <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to my brand new, to me, 2019 Ram Promaster City. First off, my apologies for this taking so long. The weather was not in my favor. The car buying process was a little bit more intricate than I thought it was, but nonetheless, I'm here now. Okay, so yeah, I have a whole new car. Finally! I would like to introduce y'all to... <laughs> I don't actually have a name for my car yet. Traditionally, I have gone with rock stars like Chevy Vetter, Stevie Ray Van. I don't know about this one. I'll get to that. 
later on. First, I will go ahead and give y'all some of the basics. I already said it was a 2019. It has about 30,000 miles on it, which is really good for being four years old. And another big reason why I wanted to buy this fan in particular is because it seems that somebody had partially started converting it before I bought it. So as you can see here, <laughs> it's kind of shoddy, but somebody started to do some insulation. I'll probably redo it at some point, but for now, it's nice to just have it ready to go like this. Second, I'm not sure how much you can tell, but I am actually already sitting on a platform that came with the van. I have it set up for camping right now because my original plan was to do this van tour on the beach. I, I drove all the way to the beach to go beach camping and then it rained the entire time I was on the coast and I did not want to get my brand new car stuck in sand, so I did it. Again, it's a temporary solution, but I think that it is awesome that it came with this because I was able to lay everything flat and put my stuff on it. I do have a row of seats here, but they fold all the way down, so this platform is able to extend the full cargo length of the van. Another reason I went with this van is because it is technically a cargo van. I did have to buy it from the commercial section of Dodge and not the personal vehicle section, but it is also kind of a passenger van. I have a row of seats here, which I am going to remove, but I have them. And the best thing ever is that the side windows here, they actually roll down, which in a lot of cargo vans, they either don't have windows at all or they're fixed glass so you can't open them, which I was really worried about because number one, I love windows, but also I want fresh air. These are power windows, they roll down. So I was really, really, really happy about that. And since I'm talking pros of this van, I will just go ahead and give y'all my pros for why I bought this van. Huge reason number one, it looks like a regular car, which is really great for stealth camping. Honestly, when I see it from outside, it doesn't even look like a van. It just, it looks like a car because it's smaller than a lot of SUVs. But I've got this nice, deep cargo space, especially in the Promaster City. It's very boxy, so it gives you almost 90 degree angles to work with in the corners, which is going to be great for the conversion. The other thing I really liked about this van in particular was that it was already tinted. It's basically limo tint on the back and sides. Very nice. I couldn't wait to do that to Stevie. Well, I could wait actually, and thank God that I did. Yeah, so this one already has it, which is great. It also already came with rain guards. I know that that's super minor, but it's nice to have some that are already custom fit to my van. It's just another pro for stealth camping when I wanna have the windows cracked, but don't want anybody to come inside of my vehicle. And then I already talked about the platform, but it came with a platform, which was awesome and the partial insulation, a huge thing, which I have already witnessed firsthand when I filled up my car. The gas mileage is so much better than I used to have in my old van. Stevie actually, to me, the van, it didn't get bad gas mileage. I think it actually did get more than a Jeep, but it was never more than 20 miles a gallon. I get almost 30 in this one. It's not amazing, but for a live-in van, I think that's pretty good. Another pro of this van is that it's a 2019, so I know this is gonna sound silly to a lot of people, but I have a backup camera for the first time in my entire life. Even my old car, Chevy Vetter, did not have a backup camera. So while it has trained me and I am an expert backer-upper now without a camera, I had no idea what I was missing all these years with being able to actually see what is behind my vehicle. Another luxury that I don't think really comes with cargo vans, which is why I'm glad I got this van, is because I have heated seats. I'm a heat hog. I love heat. I cannot wait to use these in the winter. And then my last pro that I can think of for right now is that it has a hitch. So if I ever want to expand my car family and get a little teardrop, possibly, I can just hitch it right up. So I gave you the pros. I will also give some cons that I have noticed because I'm transparent. They're all pretty minor. I, I haven't noticed anything huge or else I wouldn't have bought it. One thing I noticed, and I did read this in my research before, but it's a bit, I don't know, shifty. I don't know the proper terms, but it takes a little while to shift gears. It can take a little while to get up to speed, which is kind of annoying, but it'll just force me to have patience while driving. It's definitely faster than Stevie. This is also a really minor one, but it's annoying me so bad. So if anybody has any suggestions to affix to this that doesn't involve taking out the entire seat, I'm all ears. The passenger seat, this one here, instead of having a lever where you can just crank it and it shoots forward, it's one of those slow crank knobs where it just goes, mm, 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 mm. oh my gosh, it drives me crazy because when I'm in the front, I just want to pull the, the lever so it can fold down and I can jump to the back, but it's so 
slow. It actually doesn't fold that far forward. So not only am I cranking it forever, but it goes like halfway. And as you can see, there's not a lot of space between the seats for me to climb back here. So with this one not really going forward, that's kind of annoying. A solution that I have thought of is maybe just turning that seat around, but at that point, maybe I, I shouldn't even have a seat. I don't know. I really like taking my friends for rides in my van, so I don't want to get rid of my passenger seat, but I want to take the back off or something because this is so annoying. If anybody has any suggestions for that, please let me know. The only other con is actually kind of a pro that I listed earlier, which is that it's a passenger van. That is a pro for the luxuries, but it's also a con because it means you can see right here, this is an airbag. I have them on both sides. I have great for safety, but I worry about building over them. I've been researching, can you build over airbags? Do you build around them? Do you take them out? What do you do? I don't think I want to remove them, but I don't know what to do. So again, if you guys have any suggestions on that, on building over or around airbags, please let me know. The other thing is there are things like I have a 12 volt plug in the back here and just some random lights in the back that I think I'm going to have to undo to take out. I'm not really sure about that kind of stuff. I don't know, I'm not a van builder. Advice is appreciated. And since I am just getting y'all's advice right now, how do I make these turn off permanently? Because whenever I have my door open like this, all these stay on. And I don't want that because I love having my doors open, but I also love not having my battery die. So if anybody can give me suggestions on how to disable that, let me know. It is kind of cloudy today, so I apologize about the darkness in here. Oh, speaking of darkness, something people might consider a con is that my van is all black. I consider that a pro. I love the sleek look of black. It looks awesome. In fact, the custom Ford Transit Connect that I ordered, I blacked it out. It was all black. It had limo tint. It had black wheels even. I think it looks cool. And I know that people say that that's bad because of the heat, but that's the best thing about being a nomad. I just never plan to be somewhere where it's going to be super hot that defeats the purpose of being a nomad living in a van and following the weather. I do plan on ordering insulated window covers. I've never done that before. This is going to be the first time I'm going to have some custom ordered. did already order heat shields, my tried and true. The thing with the stick on Reflectix type material is that it always shrinks and it lets in light and it also lets out light so it's not good for stealth. So I am just going to get some that are custom made to all my windows. It's going to be a splurge but this is going to be my forever van. I want this until the wheels fall off and hopefully that'll be very far in the future. I'm really excited to do a conversion one day. However, just for now, I've been without a vehicle for so long that what I really wanna do is do something simple where I can get back on the road, get all my stuff back in here and start traveling again. So I'm gonna end up doing something simple again. However, one day I do plan to get my van professionally converted where I know that it's gonna last me years and years and years all the plumbing and wiring is going to be rock solid and i'm not going to do that myself because again i want it to be 100 percent solid i'm not an electrician and i've also been seeing on various forums subreddits whatever that people are having electrical issues some people are doing really shoddy work and that's scary because it causes vehicles to explode or combust and i'm just not trying to deal with that ever sorry you will not get a crazy house tour anytime soon but if you know any van builders that work with small vans, because a lot won't, they won't build something that they can't stand up in, please tag them so I can check them out. I have been searching, but it's hard because if you search van conversion company, just the typical Sprinter van conversion companies come up and that's not what I have. So let me know. I just wanted to finally show you guys my new house. So happy I can drive again. Everything happens for a reason and I think that I was meant to have this van at this time in my life. So thank you guys for supporting me and sticking by me through all this and also being patient with uh, this process. I know there was lots of cliffhangers but hooray I have a new vehicle. I love you. I'm excited for this new chapter and I will see you in the next one.